So you're going to get a bath. So I just filmed this entire video with lipstick all over my teeth. So I'm refilming some of the explanation parts just now because it's just, I'm one of those people that will just bother me way too much to see lipstick on my teeth the entire video. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah Wisted. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my holiday decor. So Taylor and I officially decorated for the holidays. I will say we don't have much furniture still, um, as in no furniture in our main living room. So just ignore that. But I, we still did decorate because the couch and rug and um, everything else that we ordered is on the way. I'm hoping to get the couch by December, so it is coming. It's just not here yet. So I'm gonna share it with you guys anyway, since it's time for you guys to, to decorate for holidays. So if there are any, I guess, ideas that you can get from this video, then I wanted to post it early for you. Um, so yeah, I would quickly just wanna describe my, I guess, style as like modern and minimal. I think I said it earlier in an earlier video, it's kind of like earthy modern and minimal, meaning I like greenery, I like a lot of like natural textures, but of course I want it to be very, very minimal, as in less is more for me. And then of course modern, so I am drawn to more like symmetry and like straight lines, straight angles, and less color. So that's kind of like what I'm showing you today is how I decorated for the holidays with that kind of vision in mind. And um, yeah, let's just jump right in. Before we get started, I wanted to share with you guys a really awesome Black Friday deal that is going on right now, and it's for Teddy Blake, which is this handbag company, and they have amazing luxury handbags um, for a very good price, and they are having up to 70% off on their website. It's already going on right now, and I think it's lasting until November 29th, so you have until November 29th to get 70% 70 70 off, up to 70% off um, handbags. And I will say this is the one that I have currently and I absolutely love it. It's a little mini bag. You guys know I love a little mini bag. I've been more into mini bags lately than oversized ones. Um, and this one I've actually had for a few months now and I have really beaten it up except for you can't tell. It still looks really, really good. Like basically like brand new. I mean, it's just in perfect condition still. So it's one of those bags I feel like is a really good one that will last you years and years versus one that you buy maybe on a fast fashion website that would not be necessarily in great shape in a few years. So if you're looking for a gift for somebody that they are going to be able to have for years and years and years and it's super classic, these are a really, really great option for that. If you do miss the sale for whatever reason, I also have a promo code which I will include down below, which is 20% off any Teddy Blake handbag. So yeah, if you miss the sale, then you can still get 20% off, which is great. So I'll include all that information down below if you guys are interested in checking that out. Okay, so to start our holiday decor tour, I guess, if you wanna call it that, um, we're gonna start my entryway. because smell is one of the things that people and it immediately brings back memories for people um, whatever the smell you're going for of course we're going for a holiday type memory so we went with holiday candle my friend Allie she owns a studio here in Atlanta and it's called Blanc Studio West she would get compliments all the time about how amazing her studio smelled. So she ended up creating a candle that you guys can buy from her as well. I think they're a great Christmas gift if you're looking for a Christmas gift. I think she is pretty close to selling out because they did sell pretty quickly. So if you're interested, definitely check that out soon. Um, she does shit. So if you're interested, I will again leave that information down below. So anyway, an entryway candle is an amazing way to just like start off the experience in your house. Um, of course, doing a Christmas candle is just going to help with the holiday vibe. So putting some sort of candle, of course, I had to include that in my entryway as well. 
Moving down over here, um, this is kind of like the centerpiece. I feel like I have to mention, I got this um, blank canvas up here from Michael's the other day. I didn't go to Michael's looking for a canvas, and I actually didn't realize that this thing was on major, major sale. Um, I knew I needed some sort of art piece in this entryway, and I'm going to have to create that at some point, but I found this oversized canvas. It's like a four foot by five foot size, which is a pretty big size. I can barely get it into the back of my car. Um, but it was, I think it retailed at $109, and I bought it for $33, so that's over 50% off. I don't know exactly what the percent off is, and I don't feel like doing the math right now. Um, but that's a huge discount, so if you're looking for oversized canvases, I believe Michaels has them on sale. I don't know if they have them right now, but they did when I went, so that wasn't that long ago, so they should hopefully still be on sale. Um, but that's a side note. This beautiful floral arrangement. So this has a kind of a cute story behind it. So Taylor's mom actually sent this floral arrangement to us about a week or two ago. We were just going through the whole quarantine, like feeling isolated, um, a little bit stressed, just like other things going on. And she sent us this beautiful bouquet on a Monday, might I add, which is even better. Um, just showed up on our doorstep and it was so pretty. And it just said, thinking of you and just very, very thoughtful. So Kathy, if you're watching this, thank you. We really, really appreciate it. It was like one of the most stunning floor arrangements I've ever received. Um, but some of the flowers have already died in it. Um, so obviously, because it's been like a little over a week now. So what I did is I actually got rid of the flowers that have already died and I replaced those with some pine, just like different, um, just like pine branches. So I actually bought at where we went and got our Christmas tree, they had these like garlands of pine. And so I ended up buying one of those garlands. I was going to make a wreath out of it and Michaels didn't have a big enough like wire circle for me to attach the wreath to and I for some reason thought it would be okay if I just attached it to itself and it didn't look great it was droopy it didn't look like a circle it just was not my favorite so instead of wasting the pine from that um, wreath or from that garland I ended up breaking some of it off and putting it into this floral arrangement and I just feel like it's so beautiful just to I guess bring your floral arrangement back to life but I just, I don't know, it adds a little something. If you wanted to recreate something like this in your house, of course you could buy a really beautiful um, floor arrangement or you could just find a really cool like, glass vase like this and kind of just try your hand at putting in different types of pine. There's some magnolia leaves in here as well, which I think is so, so pretty for um, holiday. So magnolia leaves and then, then just like white flowers and white stems, I think is just so beautiful. They don't have to be real. Of course, I love real flowers, so. If you can get real, I feel like that just like adds a little extra like touch. Next to it, I just threw down some ornaments that are over on our Christmas tree. I just felt like it just like tied both spaces in together to have some of the glass ornaments there that also are the same colorway and like just theme of the Christmas tree. So just adding a little bit of Christmas touch, I just thought it looked cool and kind of unkept or just like lived in if you just like put them down haphazardly like no real rhyme or reason to it. So that's why I added those there. If you, I'm gonna bring you guys closer. So, um, let me just show you these. I got these from Crate and Barrel, I wanna say last year or the year before that. And if you guys know me, I'm not the type of person to buy a bunch of different like knickknacks and stuff. I feel like I say this in every video, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. But I don't buy a bunch of knickknacks and stuff, but I had these on hand and I do actually think they're very cute. So I wanted to put them out. Um, I also want to say, like, I appreciate a good Christmas knickknack. Like, I don't want you guys to think that I just think other people who decorate with knickknacks are weird, because I definitely don't think that. Um, I think Christmas definitely is the time to, like, just go a little crazy and go a little traditional with the different, like, items that you can get at, like, Home Goods or wherever you shop. Um, but I personally just don't buy that kind of stuff just because I do like the less is more approach. So, but I did have these and I thought they were cute because they were iron, so I put them out. And then moving down here. I feel like I have to like bend down to get to you guys. I don't know if this is like the best way. But down here I have two different little greenery plants. Um, the one down here is, the shorter one is rosemary, which smells so, so good. 
and then this taller one is some sort of evergreen i don't know the name of it but it kind of matches the cedar pine garland i have on the stairs which i thought was really cool um, both of these are from home depot and if you go there they have so many options for greenery that you can put around your house um, and i know i've mentioned this before but I feel like for me, the holidays means lots of greenery, lots of candles, lots of lights, not necessarily lots of the other like Christmassy knickknack stuff. Um, so I had just like wanted to add as many different live plants as possible. And I, of course, faux as well. Our garland is faux and we have another faux tree, which I'll show you in just a bit. But yeah, I mean, I think it's just like a fun time to add some just like winter evergreen around your house. It's just such a good time for that. So um, that's what I did here. I also think having like a tree in the intro would be really cool. So maybe one year I'll put like a tall Christmas tree, um, probably not decorated, but just to have like something a little bit more grand when you walk in. Um, I thought that would be kind of cool. So if you have an extra Christmas tree on hand, I think an entryway tree would be cool. I will say the one thing that I like about this whole setup is decorating in threes is a really good guideline of course there are no rules when it comes to being creative so don't feel like you have to decorate in threes um but it just kind of people's eyes kind of catch better with um when you're decorating in threes so i have of course this green plant so that's one and then two three i just felt like that just kind of balanced everything out so let's move on into the living room Christmas Day neutral wrapping um, when we start having kids of course then we'll start doing like the fun wrapping but for now you know kids aren't here to appreciate the fun wrapping so I'm going to make the minimal Christmas wrapping you know this year like we've done every year I just think it looks really really beautiful so I'll show you that in like a vlog or something later when I start wrapping gifts I did get one one have, has arrived literally a few hours ago I just haven't wrapped it yet but that's besides the point so in this area, we just got a Christmas tree, some garland, some stockings, some wood. Again, nothing crazy. Like I think it's super, super minimal here as well. Um, what I wanna mention is we do have a real tree. So this is a live tree. Taylor and I picked this out like two days ago, I think it was. Um, I, I thought I would be the type of person who wanted to buy or invest in a fake tree like a faux one that i could have every year it's just in the basement um, we wanted to get one that kind of fit this room so we were looking into those this year uh, they are kind of an investment the ones that like look real that are really really tall so we thought this year maybe we'll just get a fake one or a real one and then get a fake one next year kind of partial to a real christmas tree i just there's something about the smell and the fact that it's live and it's just like part of like the christmas like I don't know, it's just like the season, like when you go pick out your tree and you decorate it and you bring it in, like there's just something about that that just like feels very like homey to me. So I don't know, I can't decide how I feel on like the real versus faux Christmas tree. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you prefer real Christmas trees or do you do the faux route? Cause I know the faux is definitely easier, less clean up, all that stuff, but I don't know, I just can't decide. I just love a good real Christmas tree. Um, of course, we kept this super neutral. We have the white lights, um, lots of glass ornaments, silver, that kind of thing. Um, very, very neutral. Not anything like special by any means, but if it were up to me, I actually really love a naked Christmas tree, but I mean, it's kind of boring, right? So we did add some uh, glass ornaments to this one as well. The tree collar was a funny story. I really wanted to do like the tree in a basket look which i think is really cool but i don't know if it's just because this tree is so big or maybe i just got a basket that was just slightly too small 
but it just didn't work out. It was like the the tree bottom like didn't fit all the way into the basket and I couldn't find one that was big enough so I tried to almost like jimmy rig it so that it would fit and the, it just didn't work you guys like I and I was kind of over it so we nixed the basket idea we have this tree collar that I got at Michael's um so they they had like these I just quickly wanted to get a tree skirt I didn't want to order one and wait for it online so at Michael's they had these um it was like silver tin kind of reminded me of like almost like farmhouse do you know what I mean like the silver tin and um, I didn't want the silver tin, obviously, so I ended up painting it with that um, paint and baking soda mixture that I did recently with some vases around the house, which I actually have, you can't probably see them, but I have some of those vases up here, so they kind of match. Um, but yeah, it has a really cool texture to it. It's kind of like a concrete cement type look, which I think is really cool and really modern. Um, I do like the basket tree collars as well, but I just kind of like that this one was white and it just kind of like matched the rest of the theme in this house because I don't really have baskets around, if that makes sense. Um, but I do like a basket one. So that's enough about the tree. If you go over here, let me just move the camera over a bit. If you go over here, it's also super natural. This um, garland is faux garland. But like the story about this is I have searched high and low. Literally, I think I started searching early November, maybe late October. I just was look, doing some research online of different garland that looked extremely real, but it was also this like wispy kind of like droopy garland. And I noticed that Crate and Barrel had a really good option, um, but theirs was weirdly three times the price of this one and I swear this one looks more real than the Crate and Barrel one does. I think at the end of the day, unless you want it to be, unless you buy a real garland, it's still going to look fake close up. But this one, I feel like you have to literally be like in it to notice that it's fake. Um, it just like looks really, really great. I will link it below. It is sold out for, it says sold out for the season, which I guess means they're not getting it back until next year. So. I'll link it below, so if you want to come back next year and see if it's available then, then of course that link will be down there. Um, I will try to link some similar options as well, even though I feel like most Garland is sold out already by now, but I will do my best for you guys, do a little bit of research, and link it down below. Last is our stockings. I got those stockings at Anthropology like three years ago. I don't know if they have those anymore, but I will see if they do. Um, if you're wondering where Hobbs' stocking is, I didn't, I wasn't able to find the anthropology one, so I ended up last year getting him a red one. And red obviously doesn't go with the same, so I haven't put it up. But he does have a stocking. I want to get him a white one, but right now it's just not up. So we did not forget about Hobbs. All right, I wanted to show you one more room, but before we do that, I'm going to show you the garland that's on the stairs. Okay, so we put this garland on the stairs, and it's the same garland that's on the mantle, so we just doubled it up, up on the stairs. When we bought this house, or when we were touring this house, when, the thing that really got me was, number one, this room, because like the tall ceilings, but having the staircase right here just really made me think of future Christmases when our family, like when we have kids, running down the stairs, having the garlands on the staircase. So that was kind of like what sold us on the house. So of course we had to do some sort of garland all the way down the staircase. So we did the same cedar pine garland that's on the mantle. And funny story, <laughs> Taylor and I did try and do, you know how like sometimes garland droops on the staircase? We tried that at first, but it just did not look symmetrical. Like I feel like those people who can droop a garland down the staircase have some sort of secret to make it look perfectly symmetrical because we are like a little OCD when it comes to that, so it wasn't looking great. So we just put it on the top there, which I actually love because then you can just see the um, wisps kind of coming down. I think it looks really good. All right, so let's go into our last room. I, this is probably the last room I'm gonna show you guys because I didn't really decorate any other room. Um, so this is gonna be the last one. fire has already died because I had to refilm this video. 
But so what I wanted to show you guys in here, obviously I have a little bit of red going on. Um, I want to do more red. So I kind of pictured this room to be traditional Christmas, almost like Ralph Lauren vibes, like nothing too crazy. Um, but I love a traditional Christmas. I think it'd be really fun to have this tree with all of the different ornaments, like the mismatched ones, and just, you know, one day have our kids decorate that. Um, right now there's no ornament. We'll put some ornaments up there. We just haven't done it yet. So this is pretty much it for now. Um, garland, that was from our last house, which of course we just reused on the fireplace. And we have been keeping the fire lit for a lot of the evenings. It's just like a very nice, extra cozy vibe, especially since we're in quarantine. I think what we're gonna do probably next year, probably not this year, because we won't have any guests if, or we probably won't have many guests if any. So like, the plaid pillows, maybe like a really cool um, textured like blanket or something. Just like switch it up in here next year, I bet. Oh, the one thing I wanted to mention. Another great way to decorate your space that's very neutral, but also very like holiday vibes is to get like a faux like fur type throw. Um, this one's from Ikea, and I actually have used this a lot. I've already washed it, so it's kind of raggedy now. Um, Hobbs used to lay on it, so I had to wash it in the washing machine. It still like works fine, but I think what's really cool about this is it adds like a little bit of a texture. So if you wanna keep within the neutral theme, I think adding like a faux fur, I'm like hesitant to say adding faux fur because there are some faux furs out there that just look super cheesy so i would go for ones that look more real if you can obviously this one doesn't look super real but um the other thing i want to mention is doing tone on tone i think looks really good so like white on white or if you were going to have like a dark gray couch they have like gray faux furs that you can get um which i just think would look really cool so that's another way to keep it neutral but also add a little bit of holiday to your couch Okay guys, so that was it for my holiday decor tour. I like, feel like that's such a cheesy thing to say, but that's where we're at. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful for you. Um, don't forget that Teddy Blake is having a up to 75% off Black Friday sale happening until November 29th. Um, and then after the November 29th, I still have a promo code for 20% off, which I'll leave down below. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel because it really means the world to me when you guys are following along with these videos. They are so fun to make for you guys. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I am about to go grab some food and then go um, grocery shopping for Thanksgiving. It's kind of crazy that Thanksgiving is tomorrow when I'm filming this video. So we're about to go do that. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a good start to your holiday as well as a good Thanksgiving. And I hope you're safe and healthy and getting to enjoy this time with your family. All right, well, I will see you guys on my next video.